Hello and welcome back. Uh, second part of the solution of transportation problem minimization case. In the previous lecture, we have already converted into it uh, into the minimization problem. This is the opportunity loss. Now we are going to use VAM, Vogel's approximation method, to get the initial solution. Yes, for that purpose, we have to calculate penalties. What is the penalty? For any row or column, the penalty is the difference between the least cost and the immediate higher cost. The penalty can never be zero or negative. That means for each and every row and each and every column, we need to subtract the least cost from the immediate higher. So that there will be a positive amount known as penalty. Let us calculate it. For this row, the least cost is 0, immediate higher is 7, 7 minus 0, penalty is 7. For this row, the least cost is 7, immediate higher is 15, 18, 15 minus 7, it is 8, that is penalty. For this row, the least cost is 5, immediate higher is 11, 11 minus 5, penalty comes to 6. For the first column, the least cost is 11, immediate higher is 13, 13 minus 11, it is 2. For column B, least cost is 8, immediate IR is 18, 18 minus 7, it is 11. 11 is penalty. See, all the penalties are always positive, never 0, never negative. For this column C, least cost is 14, immediate IR is 15, 15 minus 14, penalty comes to 1. For column D, least cost is 0, immediate IR is 5, 5 minus 0, penalty comes to 5. Now compare the penalties of all columns and all rows and select the highest one. By selecting this penalty, we have actually selected this column. In the selected column, now select the cell with the least cost, that is cell with 7. In the selected cell, make allocation. And what is the rule of allocation? Demand 320, supply 200. Whichever is lower becomes the quantity of allocation. So it is 200. And supply of 200 exhausted. Against the demand of 320, we allocated 200. So unsatisfied demand of 120. Now as per rules, we need to cancel the row number 1 or row of warehouse 1 because supply has exhausted. Now, the same exercise for the remaining rows and column. This row, the least cost 7, immediate IR 15, so penalty remains 8. This row, least cost 5, immediate IR 11, penalty remains 7, uh, sorry 6. This column, least cost 11, but now immediate IR 17, so penalty 6. Least cost now 18, immediate IR 22, penalty 4. List cost 14, but immediate IR 15, 1. List cost 5, immediate IR 7, 2. 8, 6, 2, 1, 4, 6. The highest is 8. By selecting 8, we have actually selected row number 2 or warehouse 2. In the selected row, we have to select the cell with the least cost. That is this cell with 7. Demand is 400, supply is 500, whichever is lower is quantity to be allocated. So it is 400, demand of D satisfied, supply of warehouse 2 was 500, 400 allocated, still we have supply of 100. So we have to cancel the column of D because fully satisfied. Now for the remaining table, in this row, Least cost is now 15, immediate IR 17, so penalty is 2. In this row, least cost is now 11, immediate IR 14, so penalty is 3. In this column, least cost is 11, immediate IR 6, so penalty is 6. In this column, list cost is 18, immediate IR is 22, 4. In this co uh, column, list cost 14, immediate IR 15, penalty is 1. Okay, now what? Now, 
comparison 6, 4, 3, 2, the highest is 6. By selecting 6, we have actually selected first column or column A. In that column, we have to select the cell with the least cost, that is cell with 11. Allocation, demand 180, supply available 300, whichever is lower, so allocation of 180, demand satisfied. Out of 300, allocated 120, so uh, 180, so balance 120 is available. Now we have to cancel this column. Same exercise again. This row, immediate, uh, sorry, list cost is 15, immediate higher 18, so penalty comes to 3. This row, list cost 14, immediate higher 22, penalty comes to 8. This column, List cost 18, immediate error 22, penalty comes to 4. This column, list cost 14, immediate error 15, penalty comes to 1. Comparison of 3, 8, 1, 4, so 8 is selected. By selecting 8, we have actually selected row number 3. In row number 3, list cost is 14, so we have to select the cell with 14 or list cost. Demand is 100, supply available is 120, so we have to allocate whichever is lower, 100. By allocation of 100, demand of C, 100 unit is satisfied, but from warehouse 3, the supply available was 120, we allocated 100, so supply of 20 is still available. Now, first of all, we have to cancel column C. Now we have only one row outstanding, so we need not calculate or find penalty. Just in this column, find out the cell with the least cost, that is 18. Demand is 120, supply is 100, whichever is lower, so we have to allocate 100. So supply of warehouse 2 is now exhausted. Out of 120 remaining demand of B, we have satisfied 100, so 20 is still unsatisfied. But before moving forward, we have to cancel row number 2 because supply is exhausted. And in the last cell, demand 20, supply 20 and therefore allocation 20. Okay, now count the number of cells with allocation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Condition N plus N minus 1. 4 rows plus 3 columns minus 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. That means in at least 6 cells there must be allocation. Yes, there are. So we can say that the ring condition is satisfied. Now what? Now we have to check the optimality of this solution. This is the initial solution. We can calculate the profit at this initial solution just for our knowledge at this stage what is the profit if this is the final or optimal allocation what can be the profit but before arriving at the conclusion whether this is optimal or not we have to test the optimality and for that purpose we have to use the dual of this transportation problem. It is not advisable to write all these things in the matrix with us. So we are going to discuss the test of optimality and further process in the next lecture. That's it. Thank you very much.